Good morning, my people. Good afternoon. Good evening. Depending on your location, we are continuing in what we have started because what we are doing is important to us. Yes, many people broke down in tears when Simon Eba said this. After one of the veterans then in war <laughs> spoke to Simon Eba, he said, My son, what we saw, people could not just control their tears. And he's thinking, Simon Eba, supporting him. If somebody that fought the war then would support somebody like Simon Eba, then who are you not to support Simon Eba? What do you know? Can you give account of how it happened then? And now that you are not enjoying, what do you think will be of your tomorrow? Let us join that conversation. You see emotion. Everybody was so emotional that they couldn't stop crying. Watch. I cannot condone myself. It is very, very painful. A veteran speaking to the PM about their ugly. He did not surrender because their friends were being killed by bombs and bullets. He surrendered because of war crime committed against our children. And instead of you to look at those children dying like that, you surrendered and gave up. And so it must be recorded and put on record very straight that Yafra did not use the war as a result of unable or inability to fight, but a result of the starvation that orchestrated the death of over 3 million children. That was the reason many of you dropped your weapon. But one thing we, the new generation, are promising you people today is that what led to the blockade of Biafra will never happen again. Amen. 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 Those loopholes have been blocked and it can never ever happen. Amen. The second thing we have done is that when you left after the war, you are not the only one. Many of you left, and the government of Biafra followed you to exile. We started by restoring the government in exile, and now we are going to restore the Biafra, which you declared from 1967. And many nations recognize Biafra as an independent state. That Biafra, we are now restoring. And the declaration of the restoration of Biafra will happen in November this year in Finland. Thank you. Thank you. I was eating right now, and this veteran was speaking. I can't control how I shed tears, so I have to pick camera in order to record it. I know we are getting close every time. I shed tears for my father who fought in the war, hoping to meet Biafra and never meet the Biafra. That is what pushed me into shedding tears. I know that we are getting there. We are getting there. Thank you. Thank you, our brother Emmanuel Oremijus. <laughs> Yes, if you see those that truly love Biafra, they listen keenly to know what happened and they sought for solution. But if you think 
you are we are playing you see them ranting you see them talking you know carelessly without minding what they are saying all of us all of us we must have to commit something into this struggle because it is for ourselves we are doing it freedom will go around if it comes a lot will be touched because of that freedom a lot when the freedom comes you will enjoy a lot of things you will now be like oh this is this truly how we should have felt that is what we are doing many people that don't have foresight they will not understand they think, okay, let's relax now. Let's uh, relax in this uh, dungeon. You can't relax in dungeon and you have freedom. No. Slavery is the worst thing that can happen to any man. To be a slave is the worst situation and condition. Yeah. We have suffered in Nigeria. They hate us as a race. They kill us. They try to annihilate us. They try to exterminate us. They try to do a lot. But they don't want referendum. That which they don't want is what we will use to defeat them. Because we need to prove to the world that we never forced anybody to vote. And as referendum, we have to do. And that voting has started. Maybe this is the third day. If you have not done your own, please go to X space of our prime minister x that is former twitter type simon Ipa, original you see the blue star that is verified twitter page or x space all right please there the first message is pinned there you will get the link to register or to vote very very important that's the quota you have to perform and that's what I have to do as a human being. By the time you do your quota and God happened to vote for us, hey, we are begging Chukwu Okika Abiyama to vote for the exit of Biafra. We have given the platform for the Lord Almighty to vote, give us a thumb up that we are good to go. That is all we need. God's voting. We are also our own is certain that we we'll have to do. But pray that Chukwu Kikabiyama will put his own vote. Bam! And here comes Biafra. <laughs> without gun and without bullet because it was done by referendum. Yes, whosoever that throws any bullet is throwing it against his generation and against his own life. Okay? Onya Hogejishia Buru I love all dear friends, my brothers and sisters. Please let us stop sabotaging what will work for us. This actually will work because you will not from today know tomorrow. Do today first and let's get to tomorrow and see what will happen. All right? Thank you very much for your time on this very channel. God bless you all.